if minus 1 is a 0 of the polynomial f of x equals x square minus 7x minus 8. So, x square minus 7x minus 8. See, you can, they are asking you to find the other 0. See, you can find the two zeros directly. Okay. Otherwise, you can just use the sum and product. See, first I will solve by sum and product. Ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. So, here a value is 1 and b is minus 7. c value is minus 8. So, sum of the zeros, okay, alpha plus beta is minus b by a. So, alpha is here, let alpha, 1, 0 is given. So, I will consider this as alpha, the 1 as alpha. So, alpha is here, minus 1, alpha equals minus 1. So, I need to find beta. So, minus 1 plus beta is minus of minus 7 by 1. So, minus 1 plus beta is 7. So, beta is 7 plus 1, which is nothing but beta is 8. So, I got the other 0 is 8. So, you can solve in this way. You can use product also, like product of the zeros. Product is alpha into beta, which is nothing but C by A. Alpha is minus 1 into beta. C is minus 8 by 1. Minus minus cancel, so beta is, the other 0 is 8. These are the two methods. You can solve now by factorizing, spreading the middle term. Now see that one, just find the zeros here. So you will get like x square minus 7x minus 8. So here it is 1, 1 into 8 is just 8. So I want 7, so 8 into 1. So x square minus 7, so minus 8x plus 1x minus 8 equals 0. x if I will take common, x minus 8 plus 1 if I will take common, x minus 8. Now, x minus 8, if we will take common again, x plus 1. So, x minus 8 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0, x equals 8, x equals minus 1. See, minus 1 is already the game, so the other 0 is 8. Mm -hmm.